Hi. So, um, long time no see. I don't want to get into it, but <laughs> <laughs> basically I'm lazy. So, um, we did, however, we saw Dana and Sarah's video, the bookish would you rather, and we decided that that was something that we wanted to do. Let's just start. So there are ten questions. Uh, and the first one, let's start with you answering this, and it's would you rather read only trilogies or standalones? And we should note that Dana and Sarah made this distinction, and I think it's important, that it's not just three books. Yeah, it's a series, basically. <sighs> that is... What about, like, sequels? Do those count as... Because yes. I feel like... Well, because then it's not like, this is book two, this is like, a I don't know. It's hard. Do you have a specific example in mind? I'm trying to think of something that's obviously a sequel. <laughs> but I'm not bringing anything to mind. But say, okay, so the woman who wrote Howl's Moving Castle also wrote, like, several years later, another book that is set in the same world and kind of has the same characters in it, but they're not the protagonists anymore. Okay. And so it's like a sequel, but it's not part of the series, I think. That almost is Narnia-like, though, isn't it? Like, they don't stick with the same protagonist. That's true, and then that's not, like, the other Narnia books aren't a se are they're, they a series. They're a series in that, like, there's seven of them, and they, like, all cover the, mm -hmm. the world of Narnia. Um... It's been a very long time since I read them, but I know that, like, they're not all the same characters. I, I, I would say a sequel is a part of a series, but that's just... Okay. It's up to you. I guess in that sense, I'd probably say, if I had to pick one of the two, I'd go with series, just because I like the aspect of, like, building a world, and yeah. I feel like you have a lot more room for depth in that creation if you have more space. Okay. But I, I mean, I obviously also still like standalone books. Yeah. There's that element that could be missing from them. Okay. I think that's fair. I'm going to agree that I prefer series, um, in part because basically all of my, like, favorite books are parts of series, for sure. Mm -hmm. Like, I can more easily think of, like, this is my favorite, like, set of books than, like, name a specific book. Mm -hmm. So I think that, I don't know speaks to my preferences. And I like getting really attached to characters, and that's mm -hmm. obviously easier to do when you keep reading about them. Number two, would you rather read only female or male authors? <laughs> this is such a weird question. I know! I don't like it. I don't like it either. I feel like any way I answer it, it's a shitty answer. But I guess if I had to say so, I would probably go with male authors, because I feel like just due to circumstance there's a lot more male authors mm -hmm. and like certain genres at least in my experience seem kind of like dominated yeah definitely and those are like really interesting and then almost be like you can't even read any of this genre yeah or at least like I don't actually know the statistics behind this but I feel like sci-fi and like fantasy mm -hmm. are really heavily male yeah genres. for sure definitely so I'd feel sad if I couldn't read them, and then most of the authors that I can think of that I really like are male authors. So. That's fair. I am torn on this, because definitely, like, a lot of the things that I really like are written by male authors. Harry Potter is written by a female author, so that's pretty <laughs> important to me, but, um, I'm almost inclined to say female authors because there's fewer of them supporting the types of media I would love to see more of, um, that's a thing I can do, but I don't like that question <laughs> at all. Number three, shop at bookshops or online. I'm actually going to go against the grain with this one. I really like going to bookstores, but I feel like I'm so overwhelmed by the sheer like number of... And that's weird because there's actually way more books online that you could find. Yeah. But it's almost kind of nice to be able to see other people's thoughts and reviews on books. Like when you go on Amazon, you have people's reviews and you can look at them and be like, wow, all of these people really like this, so yeah. maybe it's something really cool. So, and I definitely think that that helps me find things that I end up reading. Yeah. More so than going to a bookstore and kind of like perusing books that aren't sorted in any kind of way other than like alphabetical or like subject. 
Right. I am going to have to agree with you. I really prefer online in part because I feel like I can, I'm so much more likely to find something if I'm looking for it. Like, there's a chance a bookshop's not going to have what you're looking mm -hmm. for. Um, and this is maybe a little unsavory, but I uh, download a lot of books in ways that <laughs> might not be considered. Up to interpretation, It though. depends on <laughs> various aspects of that process. Um, seating and that kind of thing. Not that I know what that is. Okay. Would you rather all books become movies or TV shows? It's like <laughs> a really easy answer. <laughs> like, I know, no matter how you spin it, even if you have like a single book, yeah, there's so much material in that book, you mm -hmm. can easily make it into a TV show. Yeah. Would you rather oh, read five pages per day or five books per week? This is such a hard answer because both of them are so extreme. Um, so I was able to think about this for a while, but I actually would have to go, from a practical standpoint, I'd have to go with five pages a day. Because I just, it's terrible, but it's like, I, how would I read five books per week? Yeah, no. And then if you wanted to start a really long book, then you're just condemning yourself to not having any time at all. Yeah. Um, and I'm not a particularly fast reader, and I don't, I can't, like, spend a really long time doing one thing. Mm -hmm. So I just don't think that would work out for me. That's fair. But if it would, it would be cool if I could, like, make the pages really big or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's 30 pages long, but each page is... <laughs> each page has 10 pages in it. In 8 point font. Yes. <laughs> Um, five pages a day sounds agonizing. Um, I don't think I can do it. If feasibly I could read five books in a week, then that's, like, if we're assuming that that's a thing that if I choose it, it's possible, then yes, five books a week. And then I'd feel all, like, good about myself because I'd be reading so. If you're trying to read five books per week, it would be, the trouble would be to reach that goal. So yeah. What would happen if you didn't reach it? You'd probably just die. Probably. So. So for my own safety, I'm picking the five pages per day. Six. Would you rather be a professional reviewer or author? Do you want to take it first, then? Sure. Um, author. <laughs> you know, that's kind of a goal, so yes, that one. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, I would definitely go with reviewer just because I don't... <laughs> I mean, I like writing sometimes, but I mm -hmm. know I wouldn't want to do it, like, professionally. That's fair. And yet, I really enjoy talking about books that I like. True. Or, even if I don't like them, if I, you know, feel something about them, mm -hmm. then I'm totally happy to discuss those things, and I think that's more fun. Only read your top 20 favorite books over and over, or always read new ones that you haven't read before? So, I would go with always reading new books, although I feel like maybe I'm different in the respect that I have books that I feel like are my favorite books, but I haven't really read them that much. Okay. Like, I don't really go back and reread mm -hmm. very often. So it, it's a pretty easy choice for me. That's fair. Um, I feel like of like my favorites, I've probably read most of them, like, minimum five times? Typically, depends mm -hmm. on the book. Um, I will admit to not having done that with like the entirety of like Ender's Game or something. Just, <laughs> All obviously, of them. the first two, but fucking. <laughs> Xenocide is not a thing that anyone should have to subject themselves to five times, <laughs> is what I would say. So, um, I don't know though, but I guess at the same time, it's like I have all these favorites and I've totally gone over them. Um, should I be, like, branching out with a new... I think I would get bored eventually. So, I'm gonna have to go with... Read new ones. But it hurts. Number eight. Are we ready to move on? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> be a librarian or a bookseller? Weird. I don't... I feel like I don't know that much about librarians. <laughs> um, and, like, how different being a librarian would be to being a bookseller. Mm-hmm. I think I would prefer to be a bookseller because librarians probably have a lot of knowledge and, you know, people, 
I feel like a pretty sizable portion of what librarians do is actually like scientific and like people will ask them questions of like how can you help me find what I'm looking for really specifically yeah and that's a lot more difficult than saying you know I really I'm gonna write down all the books that I really like and yeah recommend them to people yeah I think that's fair I would also have to go with bookseller um in part because there was that guy in Arinda who had the bookshop and he had his the cats, cats. <laughs> yeah. like, I could do that I would be fine with that like yeah. yes. And also, I feel like not that many people went in, and like, with a librarian, wouldn't you have to deal with like way more people who are just like, I'm just studying and I don't really want to be here, but like, do this for me. That's a good point. Whereas, I feel like more people would go to a bookshop because they wanted to read a book. Yeah. Not just like, research necessarily. That's true. Depends on like, you're shop. pretty much certainly there to either like, get something for someone else or for your own enjoyment. Yeah. So, I don't know. I would hope that would mean fewer, like, shitty people. Uh-huh. Okay, I don't like this one either. <laughs> Only read your favorite genre, or every genre except your favorite. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, jeez. What is your favorite genre? Um, I was actually thinking about this, I'm pretty sure it is fantasy. I would say mine's fantasy, too. Yeah. And yet I feel, I mean, there's some books that are really obviously fantasy, and yeah. yet I feel like there's also some books that are, like, fiction, but they have fantasy elements, so yeah. then it's like, is that now fantasy? Yeah. Um, <sighs> this is really hard, though. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I know. I, I kind of want to say I really love fantasy books, and I feel like there's a lot, there's like such a wealth of them yeah. that I might be satisfied doing just that, but mm-hmm. it would also be really... I don't know, it would just be really sad. <laughs> I agree, yeah. I, think, I don't know, because I'm trying to, like, I do like other genres. Yeah. But definitely, like, when I think of all the ones that I like, just in general, it's pretty much fantasy. I guess there's a little tiny bit of sci-fi. I don't know. I think I would actually have to go with within my favorite genre. I think it's big enough. Yeah, I think so, too. And popular enough that there's people writing for it, so, yes. Only read physical books or ebooks. Yeah, um, I think I would I would probably go with ebooks, um, as I'm pretty sure that's what Caroline was gonna say too. <laughs> yes. She reads them all the time. But um, I mean, obviously everyone likes physical books. There's certainly a charm to them. Mm-hmm. But I'm just really into the convenience. Yeah. Um, especially going back to the online shopping, like. You can instantly have them, you can have a whole bunch, there's a lot, like, there's some interesting functions that you get with yeah. ebooks yeah. Um, that you don't have with physical books. I mean, it's something as silly as, like, oh, I want to read that one part, yeah. but I don't want to flip through the whole book trying to find it, but yeah. you can really easily either literally search for that part, yeah. or just special book market. I don't know. Yeah. And then also I know some people get really sentimental about like having physical books True. that they collect. Yeah. I feel like I'm not really one of those people though, so it doesn't bother me that much that I wouldn't have that. Definitely ebooks. I read them on my phone. Like I don't need a reader or anything. I just have an app for that. Um, <laughs> so it's really easy. You and can read in the dark. That's when I do most of my reading. That's the other <laughs> thing is like I just don't need I don't need a light for that. Um, most of the reading I get done is right before I sleep in the dark, so yes. And also, paper and trees and Ooh. stuff. Like, I feel like oh, yeah. books are not like super great environmentally. Hmm. So, I'm gonna have to go with the, the e readers for sure. Hmm. Well, that was cool. I feel like we had pretty different answers than yeah. Sarah and Dana to a lot of those questions. Curious. <laughs> You're not watching the same thing over again. Yeah, it's just good. Thanks for watching to all of our less than dozens of viewers. <laughs> There's literally half a dozen of us. <laughs> we probably know all of you. Yes. So, oh well. But um, this was fun. Thank you for joining me on this. Thanks for having me. Wonderful occasion. <laughs> um, I'm gonna reach for the camera now. Bye. Bye.